couple have been living in the same council house for 62 years. It is said that the average Briton will move house eight times in their life, but some people are rather more happy to settle down long term. Among them are Ken, 87, and Mary Harlow, 85, who have three children, five children and three grandchildren, and have now lived in the same council house for 62 years. The couple, who celebrated their 65th wedding anniversary on Wednesday of last week, moved into their home in the Nottinghamshire town of Bramkett in 1956. The Harlows say they love their two local parks, which are opposite their house and enjoy living on a quiet street that holds plenty of memories for them. Mr. Harlow said, We have had so memories here, too many to mention. But I guess the most memorable is when our twins were born upstairs. We didn't know that we were having two until they were born, quite a surprise. We had our three children all born within eleven months of one another. We, have now got five grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. So the house has always been full of kids, and been a very happy place. Earlier this month we celebrated our 65th wedding anniversary with a party in the house, and we were thrilled when the local mayor and mayoress dropped by to offer their congratulations. It was brand new when we moved in. We came here from an old terraced house that was being demolished, so moving here was luxurious compared to what we were used to. We thought we were so lucky. I can't remember the exact rent we paid back then, but it was only a few bob. Mr. Harlow used to walk to a pub opposite, now a co-op, in his slippers, while his mother used to live in the White Lion pub locally, so he has not moved far. He has been a bricklayer all his life, building many houses in nearby Wallington and the surrounding areas, including the Festival Inn pub and Rawell. Mrs. Harlow said, I can't remember how many times we have redecorated but it must be more than a dozen. We thought about buying it over the years but just never got round to it. But we have never dreamed of moving, even if we won the lottery, we'd rather spend it on the children. And the neighbors are lovely, although we've had too many to count over the years. We look forward to being here for a good few years yet. We love life here. The house faces a lovely park and is on a quiet street. After so long the house is flooded with happy memories. The couple have three children, Joy, 62, and twins Paul and Philip, both 61, the latter of whom being the retired bricklayer who lives in neighboring Stapleford. Philip said, it was a great time growing up there in the 60s. Everyone was really close and it was a time where people could rent somewhere and not be moved on. All the kids used to play on the park and go to the same schools. We all grew up together. He said he wished his family had bought the house and told how they thought about it when he and Sister Joy, who now lives in Spain, were both in work. We toyed with that idea, he said. Whether that can happen I do not know, I imagine they can get a massive discount. Looking back, when we left school and started work, they should have bought it then when there were four ways, of income coming in. The couple have a framed telegram from the Queen marking their diamond wedding anniversary in 2013, and are now waiting for another to mark their 65th.